My god, I cut out a lot in my last video, not that it's ever important. Hey guys, it's me, X Mr. Cheese X, continuing with my Let's Play of Cave Story. What do you gotta say, Jack? You Canadian communist. Welcome back. Sue's back. She's been locked up in the cage outside. When the doctor's flunkies come, we're gonna try to get Taroko back. And it changed for Sue, you see. It's not very nice, I know, but Taroko is one of us. That's what you get when you act alone. Oh god. <laughs> that is so cute. Let me out this instant. Hold your tongue. You're the reason Taroko got kidnapped. Our only chance is to turn you over to them and hope for the best. You creep die freak. If you don't get Taroko back safely elsewhere, I'll tear you one from them. Why are you offended because you have red eyes? Chubby, what you gotta say about all this? She was brought up to your talk. You say it was her fault Toroko got kidnapped. No tell Sherlock. You gotta say. Yep, I'm stuck. The doctor's minions kidnapped on Mimika thinking she was me. Her name's Toroko. And when, the, uh, and when none of the other Mimikas would have anything to do with me, she alone was friendly and kind. I know. Why don't you go in my place? My brother's in a location called Town. Find him and bring him here. Okay, so is her brother in Town? I'm assuming it's Kazuma. This is the fate of all who deserve the order of our village. She didn't do anything to you. It's Taroko who gone off and get herself kidnapped. Jack, I'm gonna assume you have nothing else to say. Uh, let me save just so I don't have to go through that cutscene again. Computer. Connected to Town. Alright, we're already connected to Town. I didn't mean to cancel. Yes. Town, here we come. <laughs> Creepy blocks. So anyways, in the American version of the game, I'm playing... Ka oh my gosh, Cthulhu. No, I am not playing Cthulhu. I sold her from the service. I thought the war was over already. So, there was a war, apparently. Well, whatever. If you're going on ahead, watch out for those power critters. When they land on you, it hurts. Oh god, now we got more powerful versions of critters. So yeah, in the um, American version, I mean the 3DS and Wii version of this game, this place is actually called Bushlands. I can see why. This doesn't really look much of a town. Looks more like a jungle. What do you guys say? Wow, his name is Santa. Are you gonna uh, give me presents? I'm all, I was off drawing some water when I suddenly got attacked by monsters, but I got away and ran back home, but somewhere along the way I dropped my king. I'm locked out of my own house. Aww, poor Santa. Oh god! Yeah, my strategy is try to bring them over to the vines because they can't get past there. Interesting enough. Oh god, that's a huge one. God, it's tubby. See, can't get past that vine. Thank goodness. So, Santa is safe. I, of course, have to go and get him some key. There's the key. Oh, bats. Alright, now we got his key and just run. Just run away from those horrible critters. And 
can't wait to start flying. Oh, that's the key to my house. Thank you. So, I gave you a present of your key. Now, will you give me a present? Come on, Kelly, I got a nice reward for you. <gasps> prezies, prezies, prezies. I hope it's that car I want. I hope it's a Buick. God, I would love to uh, have a Buick. I'm 16, so I'm old enough to drive, believe it or not. Bang my head, bang my head, bang my head, bang my head. Of course, I never even bothered reading the manual, so... I don't really see myself driving until I'm like 17 or such. Terrible, considering I want to work this summer. Watch out, death drop to your left, one touch means instant death. Oh, let me go ahead and say, okay. Really? Really? Santa, you sadistic. If you're gonna give me a present, please do not make it that infant death trap. Crackle snap, the charcoal burns fiercely. Thanks, you really saved me there. Here, you can have this. A fireball. Ooh, I got a I get to act like Mario. We're looking for one for someone. I haven't seen anyone else around here. If you want to go searching for Thurin, you'll have to pass through the fireplace and Chaco's house. I thought you said there was no one else here. Awesome, I really am Mario. Not my favorite weapon, but works very well on slopes. Metroid music. Because everybody loves Metroid, I never really liked Metroid myself. Makes me a total loser. More of you bats. <laughs> that one fireball is just trapped there. Fine, I'll just easier right that way anyways. Is that a bad water to drown in? Can I kill you, Daddy? Yes I can kill you. Ooh. Oh, there's a secret team right here, and I'm gonna try to get it. What are you gonna say? Hello there. Goodness, it's a, that's a dangerous item you got there. Thanks, I got it from Santa. Are you a traveler? Then you want to check the fireplace? Beyond the flickering flames, you spy a hole. The flames are in the way, and you can't get past. Yes, please, come to the bed. Oh, you like to go through my fireplace? Then you'll need the jellyfish juice you can get from the jellies. Now sleep. Yes, I would like to rest. Hmm? Oh, you little whore. 
Red lipstick. It has no use. <sighs> you little whore. Alright, so apparently there's ever gonna be some jellies here. Oh, that was pretty damn easy. Oh man, I couldn't have just killed the bad with the polar star. What was I thinking? before they can even touch me. Alright, these jellies can't provide any jellies. Oh. Jelly juice. Oh, what's this? You're probably thinking, go right over to Choco's house and use it there. I tell you, no. There's a very helpful item way back in the, the um, village slash Mimiga town, so I'll head right back there. Back to Arthur's house. You're probably wondering, well, what could be in Mimigo Village that we can use the jellyfish juice on? Well, remember the fireplace in the assembly hall? Yeah, you probably want that. It'll be helpful later on. And there we have one of my favorite um, weapons in the game, the bubbler. Why is it my favorite? Just look at that power. Oh god. Can I get it up? Can I? No, it's not even worth it. Got it, we slowed slowly too. So for now, I'd rather stick with the Polar Star rather than and use the experience to level up the bubbler later because. Trust me on this, the bubbler is a very great weapon in its later stages. Ah oh god, it's even still healing up. I hate when you have to use Z to select rather than X. I guess this is considered Mega Man controls. 